Do you guys want to see what we sold today? 11 Good. things. Let's take a look. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. Well, let's start, I guess, with these. These are kind of a favorite of ours, aren't they? Yep. Well, so, we look out for vacuum clean attachments. Yes, because uh, you know, these get lost and people want to replace them or damaged. Damaged. Full of hair. Full of hair. <laughs> and um, we picked these up at um, the pay by the pound. I know we picked this one up there. So, let's take a look at what it weighs. It weighs nine ounces. And how much is that if it's two dollars a pound? About a dollar and ten cents. So about a dollar and ten cents. What did this sell for? It sold for seventeen thirty. Seventeen plus shipping. shipping. Alright. Most of the things are gonna be the plus shipping for us, you guys. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a Roku device here. Actually it was on the uh, the palette thumbs down. <laughs> palette thumbs down video that we did. Yeah. <laughs> And what did we pay for it? Do you remember? The pallet was uh, $70, but we sold $100 in ink, so we're already at a plus. And we yeah. sold that Roku for $26.66 plus shipping. Yep. I put a thumbs down on that because we didn't... It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, and we don't like to do a lot of work. And Not we've shown these piece. before. We sold another set of these. We are way beyond yeah. profit at this piece point. And we get $30 plus dollars out of them. We yep. get $31.50 plus shipping for those four. Yeah. That wasn't pay by the pound. That was a big bunch of bulk that yeah. we found at a flea market, actually, yeah, right? Yeah, at the flea market. And is this a dog leash or are these those, breakaway lanyards? Those are lanyards for the Disney Cruise Line. Oh, my goodness. Two of them. Paid by the weight, so you can imagine. A couple, weigh two, nothing. three ounces, and we sold them for $10 for the set. Okay. Easy ship, easy list. Don't take up much space, either. Yep. We like that, too. We like things that don't take up a lot of space, because as you can tell... We have a lot of storage. Just a quick walkthrough. I know I've done these on the fast videos before, but we've got this little wall. This wall is like three deep, four deep. Too deep now. Too deep, too deep. Yeah, we've done some clearing out. But this leaves room for more. And then this wall here. And then we walk over here and we got this wall. These are too deep over there. And then this wall. And then under the stairs over there, we have some storage too. So we like small things that we have a, a higher return of investment on. All right. And these, I'm assuming, come out of that pallet as well? No, I bought them, uh, bought them <clears throat> in a lot on the online auction. Oh, yeah, we, we bought like 27 items for like, I think it was literally 20 cents an item. Okay. So we got $53 for those three as a whole. Nice. Paying pennies, getting dollars. Yep. And this is a Marlins. Yep, for the uh, Marlins shirt, extra large. Uh, bought it for 99 cents and we got $11.95 out of it. I like In it. In new condition. Nice. No tags, but. Well, we'll flow channel this yep. over. Then we got a pair of uh, baseball pants. Okay. That uh, did. made by Boomba. We bought for ninety nine cents Boomba. on clearance, and they sold for eighteen dollars. Nice shipping. I like it. A pair of Harley Davidson shoes. I think we've had these for a hot minute. Haven't yeah, we, we have had them for a minute. Uh, I'm not sure if we bought them at the pay by the pound or. I feel. I want to like... say that we bought them at the local Salvation Army. Probably for a couple dollars. Uh, they've been on the shelf, but we got $15 out of them. I was going to say, I don't feel like we would have paid by the pound no. for these just because. kind of heavy. Harley Davidson stuff does have a market. It's just not what it once was, well, I guess. Especially if it's vintage, it does have a good market. Yeah. Right? So just be on the lookout for Harley Davidson stuff. Uh, again, when we say had them for a while, it's probably less than a year. Oh, yeah. I mean, but. Yeah, but we. We, we, we like to move inventory <laughs> fairly quick. So we don't buy, I mean, we do buy in bulk, but. Those some are some cute little out. wedges. Well, cute. I mean, they are cute little wedges. You, I don't know how you're going to be on a motorcycle with those, though. All right. And Boy then we Scouts have a jacket. Boy Scouts jacket. Uh, I don't know where we got this at either. Uh, the 99 cents at the Salvation Army. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. And we got $16 for it. Nice. So I figured if we're making 12 to $15 profit with no more than the time it takes to list these items because we buy things that are in, you know, pretty good condition. Like, we don't buy a whole lot that is stained up, ripped, torn. Mm -hmm. We go over them pretty thorough. I can guarantee you we did not buy this at the pay-by-pound. No, we bought that in the online auction. Uh, I think I gave 
maybe uh, two dollars for six of them total. So I'm in it. We're in it for about fifty cents a piece, forty cents a piece, and we got twenty four dollars plus shipping. Out nice. Of it. So not All a bad right. haul. All right. So where are we at? Thirty three fifty four before shipping for the day. All right. So, so if you can do that for the entire month, you know, minus shipping costs, you're making you know roughly. Seventy-five hundred to nine thousand dollars a month if you clear three hundred dollars a day. Absolutely. And when I say clear, I mean you heard and seen what we have in these items. <laughs> you heard his alarm going off. There must be an auction Online ending auction soon. Ready in soon. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, here's our shipping area. We talked a little bit in our very first video about the zebra printer, and I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. Um, and I just want to kind of go through the process with them real quick of shipping yep. out an item. So we go on here. We'll pick something easy. Let's go with the, uh, how about the lanyards? Yeah, let's do the lanyards. Two They're Disney easy. lanyards. So we're going to hit print label. It's going to pop up Here's there. our area. And we're going to put Typically, them down Typically, we have business cards to add to this, but we are actually, they, we get them, um, we get them off Etsy. And we have somebody that does them for us. And we ran out before we reordered. So they're on the way. So they're a little short. Uh, so, you know, wrapping some tissue paper. And then we have these bulk envelopes. That Listen, y'all. Half a penny in. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I, I posted about this in the first video. This man shows up with boxes upon boxes of these. Like 150 boxes of these. I had a in each friend box. bring his truck and trailer to pick them up. And literally hundreds of these things. So we so even there's that. We even thrifted for our shipping supplies. Absolutely. Okay, so then it comes Every over here. Signed. And when it comes over here, we weigh it. Three ounces. So we go up here, we change our so what the post office does is is all the uh shipping is done in increments. Oh, I can't Boy, get you to see that. Yeah. That glare is not good. Regardless. In increments of four ounces when you do first class. So it's either four ounce, eight ounce, 12 ounce, or a pound. And then when you do priority mail, it's every pound uh, affects our shipping cost. Now, as a buyer, I don't know if every ounce matters. But this one here, four ounces, because it was three, I always put just a little extra in case the post office wants to scale is way different than mine. So this is $3.75. Uh, the order value was sixteen sixty nine. So after all said and done, this is after eBay fees and everything, we're out the door profit wise on this item. Man, we bought it by the weight, which is three ounces. We're out the door with about thirteen dollars profit for something that took literally two three minutes to process from the time of buying it, listing it, shipping it, packing it. Now it comes over here. Once he printed that label out that you just watched us print. Thermal. It's a thermal printer, so there's no ink involved. I'm trying to do this one-handed here, y'all. But I peel this off because these labels, yeah. So what we do, do is we me. peel it off. It's self-adhesive. Yep. Peel it, and then we stick it. Stick it. We got a little thank you for supporting our small business uh, stickers we put on here because, you know, our customers is what makes us. We just appreciate them. Yep. So definitely do that. And then we throw our items. And as you can see, this is some of the stuff we packed up last night from the sale. So this is just from last today. night from to last night to, today. to now. Yeah. So that that we're averaging about three to four, sometimes five hundred a day. Yeah, and an average of uh, pre between cost. ten and ten and fifteen items daily. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's days that we do seven or eight, and there's days that we do fifteen or twenty. So. Yeah. It's a good little side hustle. Yeah. And one of these you days... You see the process is literally nothing to pack these items up. Yeah. This one weighs 8 ounces, so, rounding up. So, 8 ounce. So, that shipped. 8 ounce rate is $4.44. And you're going to watch our magic non-ink laser label printer shoot us out another postage stamp sticker. Yep. And we print our label. Go back to our order details. And she's literally taping that on. I He's am getting the next, the next one ready. Item ready. Yeah, we got it kind of got a line going on here where and it's nice, it makes it convenient. And one thing when you ship items, what you don't want to do is is you don't want to get ahead of yourself because you don't want to send the wrong item to the wrong person. Yep. 
So if you, you know, get in a hurry and you're packing these things, you're thinking, you know, I need to, to pack and all this. This is the reason we literally wait until the item sells before we pack it because I want to ensure that what's in this envelope is what is going to my buyer. Yeah. So we have $2, uh, two, two pounds, two pounds. So it's, uh, our two rate pounds, is going to be ounces. a three ounce, uh, three pound rate yep. on here. And like I said, I put two pounds, eight ounces on here. It doesn't, it doesn't change from that to three. This is a prime example of something that may fit in a flat rate envelope to save you money. Uh, Here's our rate, eight dollars and thirty-one cents priority. But if I put it in a flat rate padded envelope, I could have done it for eight dollars and thirty cents. So I could have saved a penny and used a priority mail and saved my envelope. We've already packed it. I'm not going to waste the effort of saving a penny to repack that into another envelope. So we're out eight dollars and thirty-one cents. But if you're just starting out, those pennies add up. Yes, those pennies so, do add up, and I'm not, I mean, but the had, tape, it been, had it been $9, I would have took the moment and stuck it in the bag. Yeah. Yeah. We, you, just being mindful of your pennies. Yes. Um, you know, I talked a little bit before about don't neglect the ground change. Like we said, we found change on the ground when we've been going into the pay by the pound store. And I'm going to pick that up, y'all. Absolutely. I am weird. I'm going to pick that up, and yeah. I am going to use it to buy something. Yeah. All right, so now, once we get all of this done, we'll take this over to the post office, and we have a, a couple friends there that kind of chat with us every now and again, and they see what we do, so those, are, of course, are our customers, so we try not to, if we shipped out every few days, we'd have so much that they would have to tackle all at once, so we definitely give them the courtesy. I was spying these over here in this um, box, Nevada box. That's how, he, that's how he has these labeled. Like, these states are numbers. states. <laughs> there's some. Some uh, prison. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some different abbreviations. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And then, um, these are more abbreviations. We've got numbers back here and some states. We've got some numbers. Some countries. Countries. There, there's some golf Golf related. verbiage, cart path, green. Yeah. Well, oh, there's Chad. Look at Chad. Out. Listen, we have so many problems with Chad. If yeah. if we can't find it or it's all, if something's all messed up, it's because it has some kind of tie to Chad. Either it's supposed to be in Chad and it's not in Chad or it is, we oh yeah, we have nothing against Chad. We have nothing against Chad. But it's supposed to be either in that Chad box or it is supposed to be in a different box and we find it in that box. It's weird. Okay, so the curse of the Chad box. So I wanted to point these out. I got sidetracked, but Scrabble games do never sell Scrabble game on eBay. Not Only, never. well, Some not of the these. Old vintage ones, maybe, but not these. It's, it's not worth. These actually do better if you just break them up. Part them out. Part them out. Even if they're all there, even part if it's out. brand new, sealed, whatever. You're still going to get more out of it if you part it out. Because people that do crafts really like these little wooden tiles. Sometimes they, they like these little wooden holders. And do we we don't sell a whole lot of the shelves, but they or the the actual boards, but they sell. So, so yeah, those are kind of one of those things that don't sell as good as they used to. But we have always since day one sold. Scrabble tiles and think about it. You buy a Scrabble tile, uh, uh, the complete game. I actually I bought one in our last video. You can see me toting it around, and I gave the guy a dollar, dollar fifty four. Uh, the tiles usually per hundred go for anywhere from eight to ten dollars plus a couple bucks shipping. And then the tile holders, I'll hold on to, and they'll they'll sell for lots of sixteen or twenty, which is four to five games. They'll sell for about a dollar a stick. So. You break it down, there's four sticks in a box each game. So you're getting a dollar a stick, so that's four dollars. You know dollar, what? About and maybe this is sentimental to us because this has been our day one. This is one of the first things that we learned about on yeah. eBay is that you can get more. This and typewriter keys. Parting out. Yeah, parting things out was one of the first things we learned. So you know those old, big, heavy, vintage typewriters? The keys on them with the little glass over the top. Cut the keys off, and they actually sell more for more than the typewriter does. Because the thing about it, that typewriter weighs excess of 20 to oh, 30 pounds. good Lord, yes. 
So we this but scrabble tiles is something that we've always sold. Like I said, we used to lot these up and get pretty good money. It's not that much way anymore. It's just I mean after doing this for so long, we it's just a habit to pick up scrabble when they're cheap. And I mean they're easy because mm -hmm. we've uh, accumulated enough games that are missing tiles that we have tiles for games that are missing tiles. Yep. So we can complete a complete set. Yep. Uh, and I'm just scrolling through here and looking at that at uh, different things see if i can spot anything that might be of utmost importance so of course you know everybody does like the really fancy schmancy tennis shoes and everything but let me just tell you we have so much luck with the faithful new balance, new balance. i mean the walking Especially shoes nope yep. don't say the v word <laughs> well, I can say it on this video. I just can't listen to my... Yeah, don't listen on your... You're going to be able to. Yeah, they won't. They'll just they won't won't block you. you. Yeah. And then this is another thing that we do a lot of, and that is... So be on the lookout for not all, but a lot of these um, water, filter. water filters, like that go in your you fridge. The yeah. That's like, a, the ink. like the ink, like every... Like, like the Velcro, like everything else. You just got to check out that Vero list. Not that it's going to be all inclusive or anything. I know we talked about that too. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out that other video. Again, you'll see that we have some new balance in here. Just waiting for somebody that needs to mow grass and tell a dad joke. Not even lying. Sorry. Love me some of those. All these, um, the car manuals, we picked those up. Vintage Christmas ornaments are a huge deal. Uh, I'm just going through. I'm like, okay, some more shoes, some more shoes, some more shoes. Here's some more of those head covers that we bought in bulk. Some more shoes. And then, of course, you know, you've got to, you, you take out and you, they're still your very popular brands. Brooks and Merrill and all of those. Um, your high-end stuff. And, uh, those are pretty sweet. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna put my fit in those. I ain't gonna tell Jad joke in those. I am, oh, I'll tell one of the jokes that you was telling me yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I hate that because they're really good. And then there's things that we save up on. Like this right here, these cassette tapes. We tried to sell those more in like a bulk, like yeah, more of them. Because it makes it worth the buyer's shipping cost. And, you know, you want to, as a buyer, you're not going to pay $5 for literally $5 for uh, a... I'll be darned. Look what I found while he was talking. It's business cards. Business cards. We have enough to last us until we get our new ones. Our Hopefully. new ones have our YouTube channel on them. Yep, so... Yeah. But to sweet. touch on the yeah, the shipping cost when you're a seller, that's what the problem that's in lies is, is once you sell the item, you have to get it to the buyer. Mm -hmm. And the buyer has to pay shipping most generally. As you see, we don't ship a whole lot of big tanks. Like she said earlier, our, our items, other than shoes maybe, we don't sell a whole lot of items that are heavier than a couple, two or three pounds because... You know, the buyer has to pay that. And if they can go to Walmart and purchase the same item from Walmart and not have to pay shipping. Well. <laughs> I mean, you got to figure in that. So. Yeah. When you're buying stuff, you you, you, you really got to figure in that. How, how much is it going to cost <laughs> me to ship it? So I'm looking here. So we got some printing labels. We have some envelopes and some of our bubble mailers up here. Labels. Fragile stickers, thank you stickers. Always important to have in your eBay. The magic eraser. Absolutely. The magic eraser. We got some stain release. We got some. So when we say magic eraser, you might have generic. Oh, yeah. They're fine. not doing a very yeah. good job branding their, because uh, everything's a magic eraser. No. Yeah, it is. No. To me, it is. It is to me, too. But literally, you can go on there and buy like we do. Like she said, we shave costs. Yep. Everywhere we go. Yep, we get so we these in bulk. Things. We buy things. So I think I bought literally at the thrift store. I, I was going to say we bought these at the thrift store. Yes. Okay, so if these aren't magic erasers, because we all know they're not all magic erasers, if this isn't a magic eraser, what's this called? Because it's not a magic eraser, the brand. It's a magic eraser of some sort. 
And our measuring tape, of course. And look, we got snacks. You've been oh. holding out on me. One of those are mine. Gotta have snacks. <laughs> Gotta have my snacks. And then, of course, we, up here we keep going. There's our GoPro that we never use. But some more tape. That was our free eBay shipping supplies that are not free. Not free. Twenty-five dollars <laughs> off. No, they're not yeah. going to give it to you for free. Believe yep. me. Yep. The not free free shipping supplies. But you buy about. you if you bought oh, a look. subscription to the to the year to the monthly you store, then you you need to take advantage of that. Yeah. So, you know, so they give do. you twenty five dollars off. Yep. And fifty, quarter, right? Every quarter. Is it twenty five or fifty? Twenty five off every quarter. So I might as well spend the twenty five. Uh, the tape. I don't mind the tape because I got my envelopes and boxes and things like that. So. Tape is where I feel as if I need to spend Yeah, that. because we still have thousands of those. So yeah. This belonged to our dog, Rogue, and we miss him and we love him. And every time um, 444 shipping comes up, it makes us kind of smile because that's our Rogue said hi number. And then walking over here, as you can see, look at there, new balance. All right. And hats. Sell a lot of hats. Just random hats. I'm going to guess these are some kind of different. I don't even know what these are. Some kind of different shoe. We've got some clothes. This is on deck, y'all. This is the stuff that's that's coming on deck. This was, so I wanted to keep a little piece of this basement for my little exercise area. But uh, we underestimated the amount of space that we would need. So, yeah, that's a me thing. And then over here, we've got some things going on, too. Don't you just love that? This is beautiful. How much are we selling this duck for? Goose. Duck, it? duck, goose. <laughs> this uh, goose. This artist wooden goose. Yeah, I got a veteran that's going to buy that off of me on the first of the month, so I took it off eBay. Ah, that's really pretty. And then we've got some cords. I remember getting these in bulk. And then usually the ink is right in here. So all the ink that hasn't sold yet is in here. And then here's some stuff like that we're just saving to lot together. This is on deck. And then this is recycle pile. So this is a pile of stuff that either hasn't sold and we just decided we were going to go ahead and boot it off into um donation or like with this little pokemon stuffy pillow it's got fuzz on it and we really don't want to have to take the time to really make that into anything so that'll go in maybe the yard sale or something later but um but yeah and here's where the the photo magic taking happens and here's where we watch our favorite picker sites on youtube and uh yeah so Here's this guy hat. Little head look cold. I like that high. It's pretty, I think I could rock that. Hold on. I might have to keep it, y'all. I'm not lying. I think it's a whole look. Like a whole look. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for us today. We've got to get this stuff to the post office. I have gained a hat, maybe. What do y'all think? <laughs> All right. See you next time. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right we got some bloopers here we were trying to get a dad joke in and make it so cute i hope you enjoy these thanks for watching we're back we just had to do a dad joke all right babe you're up <laughs> all right we're back we totally have to do a dad joke a bit of that Okay, we're back, and we decided we totally have to do a bad joke. <laughs> I want to do my own chat. All right, ask me. Why is a history major a bad choice? Why is a history major a bad choice? I don't know why. Because there's no future in it. <laughs>